it going? I know it's been a while. The last video I did was more of just a, a review of a new guitar I just got. But in this video, I have another guitar project for us. It took some time, wanted to pick a perfect project. Something new, something unique, something fun. And I have it. This one I think is going to be the best one yet. But before we get into that, let's talk about some beer. I got a new beer right. A little movie magic for you. I can tell you how I did it. But I got Brickstone IPA right here. Actually, it's American Pale Ale. Edit that. I have an American Pale Ale from the fine folks out of Brickstone Brewery in Illinois. It smells smooth, a little hoppy. Oh, that's fun. That's a good drink. It's surprisingly sweet with hints of hops. Uh, it's really kind of a fun, it's a good summertime drink. I think when you think of good summer drinks, you want something a little sweet, flavorful, fun. So I would definitely go with Brickstone's APA. All right, I promised you a new guitar project, and here it is. Start with a guitar. So recently I picked up this little Betty, an Epiphone. Well, a phone, Les Paul action here. And this is going to be perfect. So the next guitar project is going to be a Jurassic Park themed project. More so specifically, I'm going to call this guy my fossil guitar. So if you remember that scene from Jurassic Park where they find the mosquito caught in the amber, it's basically what I want to do with this guitar here. And how am I going to do that? Well, it's probably not going to show up. I got a bag full of bones, some, some fossil remains, if you will. I got that, I got some epoxy, I got some food coloring so I can kind of turn that epoxy into my own makeshift amber and I'm going to basically drill some cavities into this guy so you can actually see through the guitar with the bone in it, hopefully with a cool yellow slash goldish tint to it. I wanted to kind of make it look a little bit more porous, a little more rock, stone like. I'm pretty excited. Not quite sure how it's going to turn out. I've never worked with epoxy before. I've had my fair share of Mod Podge run-ins, but from what I understand, epoxy is very similar to Mod Podge. Wish me luck. So we are back in the goodish, working on a, another awesome guitar project. So as I mentioned before, we essentially have a brand new Epiphone Les Paul in front of us. Let's go ahead and try and give this a little more of a petrified look. I want to try and distress it, age it. But before we do that, let me show you what we have to work with. We have a Dremel tool, which is going to be really important to carve out chunks of this guitar. We have the epoxy and the food coloring. Now, I hope this works out well, but essentially epoxy is a clear form, clear liquid. And the food coloring, hopefully we can give it a little more of that amber glow. So step one, I'm going to go ahead and trace out some outlines of some pieces of the guitar I want to remove. So I can insert these awesome little bones. Of course, this guy is a little skull. It's actually a frog skull. And that, I think I'm gonna put right, right there. Not like that, of course, but in this general area. And I'm gonna trace out kind of a jagged little portion here. So I could go ahead, cut that out, and then eventually get my epoxy with the food coloring in there. Somehow, and I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do this just yet, but I need to suspend the frog skull in the body of the guitar as I fill it with epoxy. Now, I thought about using like Clear line to suspend it. I think that's going to work just fine, but um, that's something we'll, we'll pursue further down the road. I'm thinking we'll start there, see how much of a challenge it is to carve that piece out. And then I have a bunch of other little pieces of bones I want to fix in, kind of peppered around through this area as well. But this is another good space I'm probably going to utilize for another little bone fossil cavity thingamajig. And definitely, once I get comfortable with the body, I'd love to do something with the headstock similar to that. So, let's go ahead, trace this out, and start to cut it out. Now you kind of have an idea of the outline I'm going with. This Dremel tool is awesome, however, it's going to take a while to literally burn a hole through this cavity here, or, sorry, to create that cavity. So, I might have to get a little creative there, but until then, I'm going to keep going at it. All right, 
So drilling through a guitar is a little bit harder than it seems, especially when you're a little bit limited on the tools you have at your disposal. The Dremel definitely couldn't cut it. Thankfully I have this Craftsman laying around and that is what I've been using. Of course, the battery is cached from doing just what you see here. So I'm gonna charge that sucker up. In the interim, the Dremel is still kicking. I found this really cool image of ants burrowing through wood. And I love how perpendicular it is. It, so I'm thinking, why not I A, dig those cavities into the guitar, and B, do a bunch of these kind of perpendicular lines to make it look like some sort of creature or insect has burrowed through this instrument at one point in time. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's see how it turns out. horror movie review recommendation of the week is going to be Dead Silence. Came out in 2007, brought to you by the same guys who did the Saw franchise, basically. Basically what you need to know is this, Donnie Wahlberg is the main detective in the movie, stars a uh, possessed ventriloquist. Now if you're from the Are You Afraid of the Dark slash Goosebump era, like I am, you kind of give ventriloquist dummies a pass. They're always going to be relevant and cool if you're from the 90s. Remember Slappy the Dummy from Goosebumps? They just get a pass. So, if you're freaked out by ventriloquist dummies and things of that nature, this movie's right up your alley. Plus, it's just well done. James Wan can do no wrong. He kills it when it comes to horror movies and things of that nature. So, I do highly recommend Dead Silence on Netflix. Annabelle was okay, merely okay. I hear them doing a sequel, not interested. That's where I'm gonna contradict myself in this review. But besides that, Dead Silence, loads of fun. Also, it's tough when you wrap up the horror movie review at the end of the day, you had too much fun. That's it, you just had too much fun.